hide me at all Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too Good morning friends! Wow. Um, so we just got back from church and I just got lunch started and well dinner started in the crock pot. We are doing um, pot roast. It's gonna be really yummy. Today is my last day before I start my workout program tomorrow which has like this eating plan so I wanted to make myself a dinner that's like my absolute favorite for my last night without having like restrictions on my diet or whatever. So I'm pretty excited about that. I just planned out my bullet journal. Olivia is outside coloring with chalk. I have the front door open because it's a really pretty day and the boys are just playing. Jameson. What, hey, what are you doing? Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, don't dig over there, okay? No, don't dig. Hi. Hi. But yeah, that's all we have going on today <clears throat> so far. I am going to be meal prepping for all of my food for the week. So I'm just kind of, my kitchen's already a mess, so I'm trying to like <laughs> keep my sanity because my kids have all been driving me crazy this morning. Um, but also I'm just trying to like get all of the mess in order so that I'm not like 100% overwhelmed later. Okay, so I have my ground turkey cooked. Um, I am starting some rice. Um, I'm doing, I did four scoops of rice and I'm gonna do to the number four line here. Ooh, sorry, to the number four line here and then put it in my rice cooker. Why are kids so obsessed with doorbells? Four. That's a lot heavier than I expected. And here, put this down. Power, rice, and then it'll just cook. I'm enjoying a beer for my last day before I have to go no alcohol because mom of three problems. And I had stopped eating these. Takis, they're amazing. If you've never had them, don't go get them because you'll be addicted. But my neighbor brought them over yesterday. We invited them over for a couple of drinks um, yesterday. And they came with Cadbury eggs and Takis. And I was like, what are you doing? So yeah, um, I'm gonna just be either finishing them off or giving the rest to my neighbor tonight. Okay, so this is my meal plan for the week. And see, it's like timed eating. So my first meal is going to be two eggs on half an English muffin with spinach and mustard. And then, um, and then I'm gonna work out. This is my workout block. And then my post-workout meal is gonna be ground turkey rice and pico, that pico mix that I make for tacos. Um, and then my next meal will be my Shakeology with banana and peanut butter. That's kind of just like a snack. And then I'm doing um, lettuce with shredded chicken and avocado and um, strawberries. And I know that sounds like not a lot, but it is. Yeah. And then for dinner dinner, I'm doing um, meatballs with Brussels sprouts and a little bit of rice and some sunflower seeds for crunch. And then nighttime, I'll do my nighttime um, supplement. It's called Recharge. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm eating for this coming week and it I know like each meal seems small but I'm eating like every two to three hours so it's it's gonna be enough it's gonna be a lot actually it's gonna be way more than I normally eat because I find that I don't really eat at all which is part of my problem but the boys are like 14 months old and I'm still carrying around my twin <laughs> twin skin if you know what I mean and I'm ready to just tighten it up and just feel better and more confident so yeah I just want to feel better in my own skin because I just like summer's coming and I want to feel more comfortable wearing short sleeves and shorts and dresses and that sort of thing and right now I'm just not comfortable. It's not really about how much I weigh, it's more about how I feel. So 
I just want to feel better. So I'm hoping this will work. I've seen some before and afters and like before and during the workout like photos and holy crap I'm really excited to get started but I'm just gonna go ahead and cook everything today I ordered some meal prep um, containers off of Amazon the other day they will be here tomorrow and then I will just portion everything out but today I'm just gonna go ahead and have it all cooked and ready to be portioned and I say all of this like I'm not I'm definitely not like body shaming anybody or saying that like if you weigh a certain amount or you look a certain way it's bad I'm talking purely based off of me and how I feel and where I want to be and where I've been and where I know I can get back to so yeah so nobody take offense because I definitely am not body shaming we got Jameson right here in the bouncer are you tired you tired? <laughs> we got PJ Masks going. You found a flower. Here's Jacob. Hey. Say mama. Say mama. Say mama. Mama. They had little rice cakes. <laughs> Say mama. Mama. What's a doggy say? Say woof woof. Woof woof. What's a snake say? Say yeah. Kino. Kino. What's a dog say? Kino, what's a dog say? Ow. Speak. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Stand up. Let's the boys are getting so close to walking, you guys. Come on. Let's walk. Let's walk this way. Come on. Walk over here with me. Good. Look at you. What's a doggy say? Yeah. <laughs> well, baby, show me your flower. Wow, it's beautiful. It's a weed. <laughs> no, it's yellow. Oh, okay. It's a flower. And I'm trying to bring my plant back to life. He he wasn't getting so much light when our Christmas tree was up. Still just cooking and getting food ready for this week and entertaining babies like I always do. And Ben's at work. We got him back for a full day and then he had to go to work. While I'm waiting on my rice to be finished, it's got two minutes left and then I'll show you how I'm gonna portion out one of my meals for tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and get the eggs out and I'm gonna go ahead and um, portion out my eggs and my spinach for morning. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. This is your vegetable container. So for my first meal, I'm allowed one green container one red, which count like two eggs counts as one red. Um, and the deal with these containers is you have to be able to get the lid on your container. So um, I'd be able to get the lid on this. So that's my one green, which I'll just cook with my two eggs. I'm just gonna dump the spinach in this bag. Okay, so there's my spinach my two eggs like so um, I'm going to just zip it up so I will cook these two together in the morning and then I'll ha I'll toast half of an English muffin and have English muffin with two eggs spinach and some mustard on top my rice is done so I'm going to show you how I portion out that tomorrow I'm waiting on my portion control or my portion containers my meal prep containers tomorrow so I'm just gonna prep tomorrow's food now and then I'll prep everything else for the rest of the week tomorrow like I'll portion it out okay so for tomorrow's taco meat rice and pico I'm gonna use this container which is gonna be too big but whatever so this little tiny yellow container is all the rice I'm allowed to have for this meal which sucks that's like everybody's biggest gripe with these containers is how little the yellow ones are but that's really all your body needs like you don't need a lot of um, carbs in your diet so here's my rice it's gonna go in here Ooh. I like to spread it out so it looks like more <laughs> and then 
This guy is for my taco meat. <laughs> okay, taco meat. I'm gonna put that right in the middle, like that. I know you can't see it that great, but I'll show you afterwards. And then our Mac Daddy here is our green, which is for your veggies. And I personally really love veggies, so this has never been an issue for me. So I'm gonna take my Pico mix and fill this container up. Whole thing of Pico, and then we put that right beside. And then this is one meal, one of my meals for tomorrow, which is actually a good amount of food. It's not, like I said, this diet or this container system really isn't, it really isn't as restrictive as you think it is. A lot of people see the containers and get really freaked out. But honestly, it's everything that your body, like that you should be giving your body and no more and no less. So for someone like me who under eats, this really helps me stay on track with what my body needs. And for someone who overeats, it helps them to not do that. It just gives you the correct amount of food for your body. So anyway, I've had a lot of people message me and request that I kind of document this whole process with you guys because a lot of you are kind of trying to lose baby weight or wanting to lose some weight before summer or tone down or tone up and slim down. So that's why I'm sharing my meal prep with you because I feel like it could really help some of you out. So if you have questions, you can always follow me on um, Instagram and uh, DM me over there and I'd be happy to share um, everything with you, all the info. So yeah. I'm so tired. I'm losing momentum. I need to finish those Brussels sprouts, but I'm so tired. What are you doing? What are you doing? I did. Imagine how much cooler I'll be in summer. Oh my gosh, it's been a few hours and I'm still cooking. So I have my rice made. I have my fruit cut up for portioning out. I just put it back in the fridge. I cooked my Brussels sprouts and now I am cooking um, these cauliflower florets, 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 whatever they're called. I'm going to make spicy cauliflower bites as one of my snacks for, for the day. Um, but yeah, and dinner is looking good cooking kind of slow. I got it, it had a late start, but it's still looking pretty good. It smells very good. Um, but yeah, Ben, he's not home. I don't even know what time it is. Um, it's almost five o'clock and the boys are still napping. Liv is still playing outside. She's been outside all day. She's obsessed with being outside. Hi, pretty girl. I love you. Kino's been in and out. And for any of you who are concerned about Olivia being outside and me not being outside, I'm like right here. I can see her. So um, she knows to stay in front of the door and she has a certain point in the yard she's not allowed to go past and I'm constantly watching, constantly making her show me where she is and Kino's out there with her too, which makes me feel safe. Um, so yeah. That's basically all that's going on. Sorry that this vlog has been like all me cooking and just chit-chatting, but um, I'll show you some cute babies in a minute. Say hey. <laughs> because that's what people want to see. Hi, happy meal. What? You eating a banana? Banana? Jameson. Jameson. What's the matter? Are you angry? Everybody's hungry. Me too. Here are my cauliflower and bites. Flowers. Oh, I know it. Stop. You're okay, bud. Uh, Mama's cooking you dinner right now. Uh, well, uh, if y'all have 
kids and you think the H2 is hard, just wait till you hit H3. It sucks. <laughs> It is the next day. I've been awake since about 5.45 because um, Ben couldn't find something he needed so he woke me up and then I just couldn't go back to sleep. So I got up around 6, made some coffee, which was different. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw I tried a new uh, plant-based half and half by the brand Ripple, I think. Ripple? Ben saw it and he was like, I swear I thought that said nipple. Ripple. But it does look like an N when you just glance at it. Anyway, um, Liv's been up for about 20 minutes. She, I think we're close to being done with potty training. She hasn't peed in her diaper the last three nights. So, pretty excited about that. But I am eating my first meal of the day, which is my pre-workout meal. So, I'm allowed to have a protein, which is two eggs. So, I just scrambled two eggs. Um, a veggie, which is, I just did spinach and sauteed it all together. Um, and then I'm allowed to have a carb, which is half of an English muffin. And then mustard is a freebie on this plan. And I love mustard, so I just added some mustard to that to give it some flavor. Some, like, more flavor. And I'm going to eat that, and then in about an hour... I think right at eight, I'm gonna start my workout. And I'm working out eight to nine, I believe. So yeah, that's perfect, because it gives me time to get the boys up. And yeah, so um, I think I'm gonna be posting most of this 80 day obsession journey on my Instagram stories. So if you're not already following me, then I'm gonna like put the follow link right here. Um, go follow me over there if you're interested in watching me. I'm gonna try to keep it to like a minimum on the vlogs, just because I know it's like not all of you are here to watch me lose weight but yeah i'm excited for my meal prep containers to get here and to really get started i'm nervous about today's workout super happy babies this morning he's at banana jameson <laughs> I need I'm supposed to have one more set of weights, but I have to go get some. One eternity later. I'm gonna get myself together real fast. What are you doing? <laughs> what are y'all doing? You wanna get in there too? Go over. It's okay. Put your other leg over. There you go. Yay! <laughs> okay, so, so I just shared with Instagram. shared with Instagram that I made myself a sore muscle roller but what I did was I took um, Panaway which is kind of like icy hot um, and then I also did deep relief which is very similar I did 10 drops of deep relief 10 drops of Panaway with my carrier oil and I put it in this pretty little roller here and I just use this uh, sweet almond oil. I just really like this one. It's super cheap. Um, and I'm just gonna rub this on my sore legs. I can't show you this part because my thighs are so sore right now. And then I'm also gonna roll it on the back of my arms. It stays like today where I'm super thankful that I have essential oils. Also, while I'm on the subject of essential oils, I wanted to show, show you guys something that um, I've been meaning to talk to you about for a super long time. I've had this since I think November and you've probably seen it in a few of my videos, but I wanted to do the company justice and actually talk about the product. And it's this, um, 
is this essential oil diffuser. It's beautiful. It's by the company House Smile. It's just this beautiful like wood grain um, oval shaped diffuser. And I love it because it burns a, or it runs a lot longer than my Young Living um, diffuser. I keep that Young Living one up in Olivia's room. It That one only runs for four hours and I believe this one goes for 10 hours or until it runs out of water. It also has um, some really cool settings. Um, it has, if you press this button, it starts at a high diffusing setting. So you'll see like tons of mist start coming out. You can press it again for a lower diffuser setting and then you press it again for it to turn off and then this here this button it's obviously not plugged in right this second I have to find the cord because the boys ran off with it but you press this one and it turns on this like mood lighting like it changes colors and once it hits a color that you like you can press it again and it'll just stay on that color or you can just let it keep changing colors it's really nice or you press it off and it'll just go off but I absolutely love this. It's really inexpensive. Um, I haven't been able to find this exact one on um, Amazon since I got this one. Um, but I know that they have a couple that are similar. And they're super inexpensive and so worth it. I honestly want a diffuser in every one of my rooms in the house. It's not plugged in, booger. Um, Olivia has one in her room. You sleep with a diffuser, don't you? Yeah, you love it? I diffuse lavender for her every night, and it just knocks her right out. How smile? You did a good job. They did a good job, huh? We love it. So, thank you for sending us that diffuser. I know it's taken me for absolutely ever to talk about it, but I really do use it every single day. I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna link a couple down in the description box that are just as good from them. Um, yeah. I think that's where I'm gonna actually end today's vlog. I have a couple days worth of footage and I um, am dealing kind of with an upset stomach today. I think my body is just trying to like really adjust to the way that I'm gonna be eating over the next week or I've caught a mini bug and um, that's just no fun. But I am gonna just go relax finish out my eating, do some chores, do some laundry, and I will see you guys in our next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new with us, and make sure your notification bell is on so that you can get notified when we actually do upload. I will catch you guys in our next video. Bye. Live, say bye-bye.